Hey yo, it's 48 Sharks here, and I'm gonna review The Next Floor, a film by Denis v... Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I'm certain about gonna kill me, but he made Dune. He made Dune, um, and, and a bunch of other stuff. I can't just say off of it, but fuck, we love him. Oh boy, fuck, do we love him. And so he made this, and this is very reminiscent of the platform. Um, I'm not gonna be playing all of it. I'm going to be skipping some parts, but I'm going to definitely um, show some parts that I feel like are just spectacular um, that I really do want to talk about. So this is one of those parts. I'm just going to let it sit for like 10 seconds. I'll just let it just let it soak in. Again, it's a short film. So looks like we have uh, you know some somebody that's disabled over here, clearly rich because they're in the room. Um, you know, I don't I don't mean that because they're like disabled or anything. It's just a stereotype in a lot of shows and a lot of movies. If you watch a lot of shows and a lot of movies, that um, there's always somebody that's like on some kind of life support or has some kind of disabilitating condition, but they're still in the room with all those rich fucking people. And then if you notice right here, you know, on the bottom left they got a shark. In the middle, it looks, you know, looks like there's maybe a general on the right. It looks like some kind of pop star or artist. Um, some old guy that's probably just old money, you know, this guy on the right. It probably paid t to be here. Um, and then, you know, there's like s a few other weird people, four other weird people or something like that. And then you have the staff. They're waiting on the staff. And then, again, I don't know what animal that was, but if you can let me know, let me know. But, I mean, yeah, you have the hitmen that, that pay for this shit. They live for this shit. That's the maitre d', maitre d'. Yeah, so they're just going ham. They're going ham on the ham. They're eating all of it. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a fucking human in here somewhere. Uh, honestly. Um, so skipping faster than you can fucking believe. Right? So you don't even know what the fuck. And going backwards a little bit. Um, this is the next part, which is really, really interesting. So... Um, Maybe you need to hear the audio for this part, I guess. You hear the creaking. So they just shove more and more food onto the, the table. And uh, right here he says, get ready for the next, next uh, entree. Or the next floor or whatever. Everybody rushes down. <laughs> Wild. They raise the chandelier, or they lower the chandelier completely through the floor, and it arrives. Right? So, yeah, of course, they're all dusty, you know, but the music arrives, and, you know, drywalls all over fucking everything looks nasty. Fuck. What is this? One, two, three... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, maybe four more floors they just fell straight through. But they're like, they're, I get, I mean, their status, right? They paid to be at this table. Like their comprehension is so beyond money at the, I mean, beyond anything. It's just money and what you paid for. A little setback, but you keep fucking eating. Greed. Greed. Right? So, this is one of the first elements I feel that is very analogous to uh, the platform, man. So, when you get good food, you devour that shit. Hardcore, right? Now, who gets the good food? The people at the top. Does any good food ever get to the bottom? That's another analogy later in the video. But... If you have good food, if you have good things, the greed is going to overtake you. It overtakes them. And they devour. The greedy devour. And as they get deeper, more rare items come in. What was that? An armadillo and then a deer? What even was that? Okay, so now it's, now it's getting weird. Now we're, now we're entering 
the weird phase of stuff. But like, hey, we got cleaned off. We have servants. We have little pigeon, pigeon roaster, turkey fig things, chicken rotisseries. But, you know, maybe one person's starting to, you know, not really agree with it. But they just keep serving more and more, and it gets more deeper. Now that, that, that those were intestines, boom, they fall down to another level. The staff transfers down to their level, right? But before they can even put the food on, on the table for the next little bit, it already falls through. So they scramble, and they scramble, and they got to go down another floor, and another floor, and then wait, wait for it. So they know it's gonna fall, so it's like okay. Next one. Yeah, that's the only I think that's the only word two words that are said in this entire thing, next floor. So as they're as they keep falling, there's less light, there's less luxury, there's more dust, there you know, there's there's more falling. It's so they they've been falling for quite a while. It looks like the the floor, the ceiling and flooring, ha like this has happened. It looks like they've prepared for this. I mean, you know, the rooms are already ready for the light. The chandelier drops straight down throughout, you know, all the floors. But it's like, how far does greed go? Like, we're down this far. If we keep getting more food, if they keep giving us more shit, if we keep devouring it, again, it's going to keep weighing you down. And these people are just going insane for it. So, at a certain point, at a certain depth, you just kind of give in to the insanity of it all. And so again, as they realize that these people are going to fall through the floor again, they prepare to go to the next floor. And then they fall through the next floor. And the next floor. And the next floor. And the next floor. And the next floor. And, the next floor. and it's like, wow. Yeah, so the chandelier... You know, boom, right there. So if the chandelier, if, if if you have seen the platform and if you've seen the chandelier go straight down in the middle through all the levels, if that did not make you think of the platform going through the levels with all the food, I don't know what the fuck you're doing here. You probably didn't even watch the platform or this or this short film. So first, go watch, go rewatch or watch the platform and then watch this. The platform now has English dub. So hell yeah. Um, but definitely, definitely, the chandelier is the platform going through all the levels. 100%, that, ha that has to be it. The greedy people, the gluttonous people, you know, I, I wouldn't consider level zero where the actual kitchen is. Um, you know, the, I would consider the kitchen more similar to, like, a movie like The Menu. Um, but everything level one and below, I would consider similar to Next Floor. Uh, and again, it, it's about above versus below. You know, when they were above, they were happy and they were there uh, and they were greedy. You know, they, they wanted all of it and that's what ended up weighing them down to the bottom. They even get to the bottom and they're still so greedy that they just keep going for it and they keep going for it. They don't change. They don't let themselves change. And eventually they get to a point to where they just keep going down and there is no coming back up. So, and again, that's similar to the platform when the main character and the main character's partner decide to ride the platform all the way down to the bottom. This is a short film. If this was extended, I feel like there would be maybe some kind of hero or, uh, you know, some kind of like antagonist or some, some other shit without just a storytelling of like greed and how it just collapses if you continue to do that. But with the platform they rode the platform all the way down to the bottom and once they get to, got to the bottom there was no coming back there was no coming back so for this what i think happens next after that slow zoom out is that um they repair the floors maybe shittily and that's why they fall so easily they retract the chandelier and they start feeding another gambit of guests this one you know, I don't want to say any specific way of how it ends or why it ends, but I just wanted to talk about the similarities between the platform and this movie. So, I don't know. Let me know if you agree in the comments below. Um, or let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm totally off base, and but let me know how.